everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a house in Bloxburg and some tips and tricks. This is for beginners or if you're just looking for building tips, so let's just get right into it. So you're just going to start off with getting inspiration. I would recommend using Pinterest and saving some houses you like. Pinterest just has like better ideas and way more to choose from. If you already have ideas, you don't really need inspiration, but it can still help you, so I'd still recommend it. You're going to plan your house a bit before you actually start building now. All you have to do is decide the theme, color theme, how many rooms you want, and how many floors you want. This is going to make building so much easier later on since you already have all of this decided. And now you can start building the layout. You can use real layouts for inspiration or just recreate one if you're struggling a lot or you could obviously make your own. I'm using these simple marking fences to plan the distance of the front of my house from the sidewalk. Keep the house at least six squares back from the sidewalk or more so you have room for gardening later on. My house is going to be way further back because it's going to be a lot bigger and I want a lot of gardening. Now, I would recommend using actual walls to make the layout. You can use marking fences, but I prefer walls since you can see the layout easier and you don't have to go and delete the marking fences or just build over them and waste some money later on. But really, just do what you prefer. Make all the walls of your house about two to six squares long and vary the length of different walls. This will give your house some shape. A giant box house is not cute, so do not do anything like that at all costs. It is not gonna look good. And also, keep the rooms inside smaller than 6x6 so you don't have too much empty space. But don't make the rooms too small because you do want room to actually move around and put stuff. I'd also recommend keeping the closed off rooms close together, such as in a hallway. Don't like scatter them around the house, it usually looks strange and just like something is off. You can close off bedrooms, bathrooms, etc, but don't close off the living room, kitchen, or dining area. Having open rooms really makes your house look a lot better. You can use pillars, one square wide walls, or fences to give open rooms a small barrier without completely closing them off. This is what the first floor layout for my house is going to be. I'd also suggest making a backyard. They're super nice and amazing for roleplaying or just having a nicer house. You can use a fence if you want some more privacy or else people will probably just walk into your yard. If you can afford it, pools are an amazing addition to backyards. Just leave some extra space in your yard so you can fill it up when you decorate your house. And if you're gonna have a second floor, obviously add some stairs. Having fences on stairs and around them just makes them look a lot better too. And make sure the entryway where you go up the stairs has some space too. And don't add floors over the stairs because you actually want to walk up the stairs so you can go to the second floor. You can also make like a nice little loft area like I'm doing here. I'm adding this like fancy chandelier to make it look super cute and luxurious. And also, I'd recommend manually placing some floors so you can see the layout of the second floor better. And I'd advise making some of the walls further back than the walls on the first floor, like I'm doing here. I'm going to use this extra space for a nice little balcony. This really adds a lot of depth and detail to your house, so I definitely recommend it. When your layout's done, don't forget to add floors. You can usually just automatically place floors, but if you have any curved walls in your build like I do, don't automatically place the floors or they're gonna look like this, and this looks so terrible. Instead, just make a box around any of the curved walls and then place the floors manually. It literally looks so much better. For coloring your floors, I would recommend a wooden texture because that's the most realistic and just using a wood color like a gray, linen, oyster, or brown. And as a little bonus tip, if you want some detailed floors, you can manually place a painted wooden floor in the same area twice. It looks like this and as you can see, it's way more realistic than just one floor. Next, add some pillars and wall trim. These make your house look so much more detailed. For pillars, just add some pillars on every outward facing corner of your house. If you have advanced placing, you can just add them. Advanced placing is a game pass that lets you place objects that collide with each other. It's super helpful, but you do not need it to build a good house, so don't feel pressured to buy it. If you don't have advanced placing, you can either skip adding pillars or you can delete the walls where you're going to put a pillar and place the pillar first and then rebuild the walls. 
For wall trim, I would definitely recommend it on every single wall, inside and outside, if you can afford it. If you can't, that is okay, but I would still try to add a little bit of wall trim because the detail it adds to your house really makes a difference. I'd recommend doing the pathway next. Don't ever use paths. They do not look good. Use floors instead. I'd advise making like a little small porch by our doorway and then a thinner walkway from there to the sidewalk. Alternatively, you can use fences to outline a more curved path and then place floors inside of them. And if you want a really natural look, you can always just use stepping stones or carpets. I'm just going to paint my pathway the same color and texture as the sidewalk, which is medium stone gray and concrete. Now it's time for doors. Just choose the doors that you like the most. I like this traditional door for suburban houses. Just make sure the doors have a similar style and match your house or else it's just gonna look really weird. Make sure every room has a door and make sure the doors aren't in the way of anything else. Now it is time for windows. Choose windows that match the theme of your doors. For the traditional door, I like the traditional windows. Just place windows on most of the outside walls that do not already have doors. Windows literally make your house look 10 times better and way more spacious. You can also add shutters for some extra decoration, but that is up to you. And then it is time for the roof. For a modern house, I would recommend a flat roof that's moved up and slightly out like this, but this is a suburban house, so I would not recommend that for this build. For suburban houses, I would recommend using a gable roof always custom place your gable roofs automatic placing just looks really weird if you're struggling to do a gable roof you can also do an automatically placed hip roof for a much easier option you're almost done building the house now but you have to add gardening first never skip gardening you need gardening to have a good house houses just look really weird and not great if you skip gardening I'd recommend at least having a few trees at the corners of your house and just adding some clusters of plants at the front and by the trees. You can optionally have some flowers for some pops of color outside. I'm adding some extra stuff of my own. There's so much you can do with gardening, so don't be scared to try out some new things. And lastly, it is time to color the house. Coloring is a whole process. But in general, try to use neutral colors for outside walls and just don't paint them plastic. Plastic looks really weird on exterior walls. Make sure you use the same color theme throughout your build as well. And you can also add some small pops of color on shutters, flowers, etc. So that is how to build a house in Bloxburg. Here's what the final house I made looks like. I actually recreated one of my older builds for this video and made it better and more up to date. Anyway, I really hope you found this video helpful. Feel free to comment any building tips of your own down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.